Hey y'all, it is Megan from Made for Mermaids, and today we're working on our Sabrina shorties. Um, this pair I'm doing is the women's pair, and it's the mid-rise. I'm using lace for the waist, pico for the legs, and I'm going to show you how to roll the crotch liners so everything is, in, is enclosed. So you should have two um, pico elastics lace, or you can also finish the legs with knit bands. So you should, you should have two pieces for your legs. You should have one piece for your waistband. You can use lace, a knit band, or elastic. Then you should have two liner pieces. One is your lining and one is your main fabric. Then you should have a front piece and a back piece, and these are all on the fold. So you're going to start with your crotch liner and you're going to lay the lining piece right side up. Then you're going to take your main piece and you're going to align the raw edges and you're also going to lay it right side up just like that. And then you're going to take your main crotch liner and you're going to lay it wrong side up. So now you have a layer, a sandwich. You have the crotch lining, the main front, and then the main crotch. And you're going to stitch this together with a quarter inch seam allowance, or I'm sorry, a three eighths inch seam allowance. All the seams in this pattern are three eighths inch. So just like that, you're gonna stitch across. And you can, um, if you need to base this together, you can base it first so it doesn't move around or you can just stitch it. We have stitched that seam just like this. So there's the back and the front. Now we need to roll the back piece so that seam is also enclosed. So you're just going to pull the lining pieces apart like this. I need to flip it this way. And then you're going to take your main front piece and you're going to roll it just so it's out of the way. So you have your lining here, your main piece here. Then you're going to take your main back piece. And you're going to match these center notches and the raw edges just like this. And the right side is up on the back piece. And you're also going to kind of roll it up everything except this back seam. And then you're going to take your main liner and you're going to pull it over these pieces and you're going to have to kind of ease this in so you're going to match all three edges so you're making that same sandwich again. The lining, the main back piece, then the main crotch. You're going to pin these edges. So what I like to do is pin both the edges, then pin the center notches, and then you just kind of ease, you can see right there, you just kind of ease that rest in, just like that. So your main pieces are rolled out of the way. Turn it over so you can see. Here's the lining crotch, the back, then the main crotch, just like that. And then you'll stitch this seam. Okay, now we stitch that back seam. And then all you're gonna do is just flip it right side out. So you just pull it all out. Just like this. So now both the front and the back crotch seams are fully enclosed. Just like that. Now, if you're doing the Pico elastic or the lace, um, this is the time that you would finish the edges. So there's actually a video, I'll go ahead and link it below, of how to attach Pico, but you just stitch it right sides together, flip it and then stitch it again. 
So you would finish the edges for, again, the pico or the lace. If you're doing the knit bands, then you would stitch the side seams together now. Like that. And then you finish the waist. Um, I'm going to stitch the pico on real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the legs are all finished. I've already done the side seams. And now we're going to stitch our laced waistband to the top. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, instead of pinning, I just put a crease in the center front and back so I can match it. My waistband is already quartered. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your waistband over and you're just gonna overlap. Now, this is really, you can overlap it all the way like this and just align the edges. Your um, boot or your boy shorts will finish a little bit lower, or you can just overlap it by a quarter or half an inch, like this. And depending on the width of your lace, I mean, you could use really wide lace if you wanted a very wide waistband you're going to get more or less coverage. So I'm just going to overlap it by about half an inch. And I actually do like to use pins here instead of clips. And I'm just going to match the quarter points. And then you're just going to use a stretch stitch. I like to use a triple zigzag to stitch the waistband in place. One more pin. And you can pin this all over if you want, and you'll gently stretch the lace. It doesn't have a lot. You need to stretch just a little bit. You'll gently stre stretch the lace as you're stitching, um, trying to keep that overlap even. Just like that. I'm going to finish that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, and these shorties are complete. So you see it's just overlapped along the top, just like that. Again, how much you want to overlap it is really your choice, how high you want them to finish. If you're using a really thick lace, maybe you want to overlap it more, or maybe you want them really tall, or if you're using a very small lace, you could overlap it less. But just like that, I can't wait to see all of your shorties complete. Um, I hope you share them on Instagram and in our Facebook group. Bye!